Hi, my name is Bertha Ryu from YAP Community Action Program. This video is part of a package of videos and a workbook that can help community outreach and planning for climate change and other threats. This series of videos includes an outreach video on climate change, this video on how to review past weather events that impacted your community and choose resources for planning. Four additional videos for developing actions for the following. Marine resources, shorelines and structures, agriculture, and water. And two video examples of communities from Palau and Yap which are taking action to protect their resources and prepare for climate change. These videos are designed to help communities discuss and collect information to include in an action plan. An action plan is a simple written document that explains the community's concerns and actions they want to take. This is what a simple action plan might look like. Why is it important for a community to have an action plan? First of all, it helps to document community knowledge of their environment, the problems they face, and actions they want to take. Second, in this day and age, if you're seeking assistance from the outside, it's very helpful to have a written document that identifies your community's challenges and what you want to do to address those challenges. The steps to completing an action plan are 1. Discuss how past major weather events like droughts and storms have impacted the community. 2. Discuss problems the community will face from climate change and choose which resources they are most concerned about. 3. Develop actions to prepare for climate change and to protect the community's resources. The first step is a historical review to collect information on how past major weather events have impacted the community. We know that if these events have happened in the community before, they are likely to happen again. These events may be worse in the future with climate change, so we must be prepared. To do the historical review, the community will discuss which major weather events you've experienced in the past 50 years. Talk about how these events impacted the community and identify which were the hardest to recover from. Go to the historical review section of your workbook and pause the video here to complete the historical review. If you don't have a workbook, use the questions at the end of this video to guide your discussions. Step 2. Choose resources for planning. In this next step, your community will identify which resources they're most concerned about being impacted by climate change. These are the resources your community will include in planning. First, we're going to review impacts to Pacific Island communities from climate change. You may have seen this discussed in more details in the climate change video. Climate change is causing hotter air temperatures. This makes droughts worse, causes crops to dry out, helps to spread disease, and causes wells and water sources to dry up. Climate change is causing warmer seas. When the ocean gets warmer, it can get too hot for some types of fish. This causes them to move away to cooler areas. Hotter water also damages corals that provide homes and food for fish and protection from waves to our coastline. Climate change is causing sea levels to rise. The sea is expected to rise 11 inches by mid-century and an additional 3.5 feet or more 
over the next 100 years. This is already causing coastal flooding on many islands. We can expect it to get worse and continue to damage homes, roads, and farms. As the sea rises, salt water can ruin wells and crops. Rising seas, combined with storms and big waves, can also wash away shorelines. Climate change is also causing more extreme weather. More extreme rain can wash soil into the ocean, damaging coral reefs, and cause floods that kill crops, spread disease, and destroy our homes and infrastructure. Now it's time to decide which resources your community will include in planning. To do this, you should consider both the impacts the community has experienced from the past events and the possible future impacts from climate change. You will decide which of the following resources you will include in planning. Marine resources, shorelines and nearby structures, agriculture, and or water resources. Remember, your community can plan actions for one, many, or all of your resources. There is a video for each one. Make sure the concerns for men, women, elders, and youth are considered when choosing resources for planning. After you complete this step, you will know which resources your community will develop actions for. You will watch the videos of resources your community picked. The videos will help your community develop actions to prepare for climate change. Go to the Choosing Resources for Planning section of your workbook to complete this section. If you don't have a workbook, use the questions at the end of this video to guide your discussions.